You come back in here, right? Yes. You come back in. In what you've done with your life thus far, is it giving you what you want? Is it giving you what you want? When you look toward the future, when you look at all that's going on out here, is there some place within yourself you say, hey, I know I need to be out there in that arena. I know I can do more than what I've been doing. I know there's some great music that I have within me that I haven't brought out here yet. Is that something that you begin to look at within yourself? See, I say if you look at your life, and if, and if you're not getting what you want, you owe it to yourself to do something differently. You owe, if you own a job, 85%, they say, of Americans go to jobs, but they're unhappy. If you're doing something eight hours a day that you don't like, it's not giving you what you want, it's not giving you a strong feeling of satisfaction and fulfillment. You're miserable, you hate to go there, you're depressed just thinking about it. You're saying, to me, thank God it's Friday song every week. If that's what it is, you owe it to yourself to start strategically working to change directions. See, but you know what most people will do? Most people will resist change. Most people will fight change as if change would be worse than what they're experiencing. See, they know this. They're familiar with this. Most people will not challenge the unknown. They won't just step out there. See, they, well... See, there are certain things that's got to be in place. They've got to see it all together. And life isn't like that. That's not how you grow. So as you look at your life, you say, I'm not getting what I want. As you begin to look toward the future, begin to know that whatever it takes for you to create that, you've got that in you. You've got that. You've got genius in you. You've got goodness in you. You've got creativeness in you. If you decide Yes, you've got that. You've got that in you. How do you win? You start. How do you keep on winning? You start again. Like prayer is the power that penetrates all problems. That was my amazing mentor, guidance. That was Les Brown dropping some, some knowledge today. Uh, like literally... That's someone that I looked at when I decided to become a speaker and I decided to learn how to tell my story, learn how to tell my story, and, and also just learn how to, to be a better, better me. Some technical issues right there, bloopers. But like he was, he was talking a lot about how people are afraid of their circumstances and they get tired of where they where they are and and, and they don't they, they or people jump into business and they don't know how to, to to promote their business or they run out of people to talk to like literally one of the things that I learned while I was learning how to be a speaker learning how to be a better me self assessing I learned that we have the capabilities to change our environment for those that don't know me that are joining for the first time, my name is Elijah Mindset Morgano. I am a uh, social media thought leader. I am the author of Social Media Done Right, uh, founder of New Art Tours, and co-founder of Transformation U. Uh, really, really just excited about sharing certain things that I use on this journey to change my, my network from 200 uh, in, in a couple states to well over uh, 27,000 in uh, 113 countries and 40 states. It's just being able to create communities, pockets of communities all over. And one of the biggest, one of the biggest things is these four C's. I was utilizing these and not even realizing how to that it was a system, that it was a process. So I'm going to share these four C's and how they helped me uh, just, in all honesty, maximize social media and allow me to take social media to the next level. Photo bomb. Photo bombed, video bombed. Hello. Y'all gonna say hi? Y'all gonna say hi for the camera? Oh, my princess. Oh, she jumped up with the deuces. Yes, it, it, it'll come. Yeah, see, the camera's right there, though. Yes. So before we go into the four C's, we got we got bombed out by the family. Hi. Hi. Okay. Thank you, mamas. 
Thank you, sweetheart. Tell them bye. Bye. What's Jay doing? Justin is the cameraman. He's supposed to be taking pictures. Go ahead. You want to take his job? Because yes. I think, I think yes, you want to yes, lose yes, his yes, job. Yes, yes, go yes, ahead. Yes. No, go, 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 go. No, 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 go take your job. Go ahead. Thank you. Appreciate it. Huh? Not now. Later, later you'll take his job. Okay. We'll give him one more chance. I'll be back for you later, Justin. Yes, yes, yes. So, back to the four C's. My, my, our awesome family uh, decided to join us this morning. Got my son back there on the camera. Helped me set everything up. But uh, as always, we're going to go into prayer as usual, because like I said, prayer is the power that penetrates all problems. Heavenly Father, it's your humble servant, Elijah, the messenger. Grateful that, that you allow me to see this day. Grateful that you allow my children to wake. Grateful that you allow me to, to receive a fresh anointing on a daily basis. Grateful that you allow me to deliver your gospel, your messages, your stories. Grateful that you're able to, to continuously do all things. All things are possible through Christ that strengthens me. All things are possible through the Creator that strengthens me. I'm grateful for the ability to share my knowledge, wisdom, and understanding. My understanding of social media, my understanding of people, and my understanding of myself. So I ask that you continuously bless my, my actions and my words, and especially and most all, my thoughts and your son. And our brother, Jesus' name we pray. Amen. So listen, um, the, one of the first C's is, is, is context. Like, context is nothing more than the story that you're telling yourself. Like, people think that, you know what, social media is all about having a strategy and a system. Yeah, the system and the strategy is dope. It's awesome. It's an amazing tool. But the thing about it is, the system and the strategy doesn't mean anything if you don't have a, a successful story. If you don't have a, a story that people can follow. If you don't have a story that can paint a picture. Elmer, thank you for joining. I appreciate you, bro. Like, literally, uh, if you don't have... Uh, the, the story that's going to solve problems or if you don't have the story that's going to be able to, to, to lift somebody up or inspire somebody. Not having the story is something that is, is a lot of people fall short or they're telling themselves a story that is not conducive to success. One of the things that I, I, I use as an example is that when coming from poverty or coming from being broke, one of the most things that we, we focus on is our lacks, our limitations. We focus on the things that are stressing us out the most. We focus on the things that we can't do. So that's the story or the context that we're telling ourselves. So if we're telling ourselves that and we listen to ourselves more than anything, like you're, you're creating habits and you're creating ideas and thoughts that are conducive to a, a story of failure. And, and, and this is the thing, failure is a part of the process. When, when you're scared to fail, when, you, when you're when you not feeling that that failure is, is, is something that you want to attempt, when you're scared to take that leap, when you're scared to change your story, like literally, like you, you're just going to settle for average. You're going to settle for, for just not attempting risk. You're going to settle for working that 9 to 5. There's nothing wrong with the 9 to 5 if that's your purpose, if that's your calling. Like literally as an entrepreneur, uh, as an author or a CEO or a boss, you literally work more than a nine to five. So like the story you're telling yourself on a daily basis, it has to be conducive with su success. And this is the thing. These C's are changing your environment. Like it starts with us before anything else happens. Like I, I, I tell a lot of my, uh, my, my customers and my clients that, that um, it doesn't matter how many followers you have. It doesn't matter if you have thousands of followers. It doesn't have matter if you, if you have tons of likes. If the story that you're telling yourself is not, you don't believe it, none of them are going to believe it. If you don't know how to engage, none of them are going to know how to engage with you. So the story or the context that you're delivering has to be conducive to what, towards success and also has to be conducive towards helping those that you're, you're looking to connect with, helping those that you're looking to attract. And you can't help anybody outside of yourself if you can't help yourself. So learn how to change the story that you're telling yourself. And uh, check out one of my other uh, uh, Facebook lives where we was talking about the importance of storytelling. The next one, hey Justin, if you, can you cut that light on for me, bro? Thank you. The next one is content. They talk about content is king. Take that top piece off for me and pull that light closer. Uh, they talk about content is king. And one of the things I want to show y'all, so y'all know I'm not talking to myself. 
He said he didn't want to be on the camera, but he's the cameraman right here. And, and this is the story that I'm telling him. Like, he's seen me change my story. And, and we're changing his story right now because he's learning cameraman. He's learning the art of earning a commission on his... Are you going to set it back up for me? Earning a commission on his, his, his service. So, like, I have to create content daily. Like, I, content and, and consistency. Most people are like, Yo, how are you on social media all the time? Because I know that I'm utilizing social media to tell my story. I'm utilizing social media to, to deliver a message. I'm utilizing social media to break down barriers, to answer questions, to make it so that my legacy has a purpose. So make it like so that long after that I'm gone, my, my, my children and my children's children will be able to check out these videos. They'll be able to check out the books. They'll be able to check out what I've left as content. Like the internet and social media has left a huge opportunity for us to be able to leave a content or, or our footprint. And this is the thing. Everybody doesn't have to do videos. Like some people are camera shy. Like, we help people get over that and uh, with, with uh, Transformation You, but some people are ca camera shy. Some people have great voices. Maybe they do radio. Like, some people can write out of the yin-yang or can type really, really good. They might do blogs. Or, like I said, some people can be like me, where I, I'm comfortable behind the camera, and I can do uh, education through webinars and web series and, and, vi and vlogs. So knowing what your niche is to deliver your content is crucial. And when I talk about delivering your content, now that you started telling yourself a story, now that you have, now that you know who have an idea of who you are, you have to be able to deliver that to the marketplace, and you have to be able to deliver it on a consistent basis. And when you're able to deliver it on a consistent basis, thanks for the love. If anything that I say stands out, man, or, or speaks to you, I appreciate it. Rohan, thank you. Johnny, thank you. Uh, uh, shout out to to Akina. Happy birthday, uh, Akina Ms. Neck. This is your birthday. Happy birthday to you. But Literally, back to this, first one is context, the story you're telling yourself. The next one is content, your consistency of delivering the story to the marketplace. Number three is community creation. We talk about the law of attraction. Anybody that ever seen uh, The Secret, they may have known uh, about, I've heard that everything is magnetized, that everything that you, your thoughts have, have frequencies and vibrations attached to it. So what you think about, you bring about. So with community creation, once you know who you are and where you're going and know how to deliver your message, you're able to create communities based around the things that you have found out about yourself, based around the things that you know, that the problems that you can solve. Like for instance, like when I went to Armstrong High School, when I was in high school, we had, they called sets, and they were different communities, and, and these sets like we're, we're based off of what, what project you went to or what